Hello, hi there. Uh, my name is Charlie Allen. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Welcome to Intel Future Gen. I'm the uh, Director of Global Brand Partnerships at ESL, and um, it's my pleasure to be here to talk to all of you and tell you a bit about what I do at, uh, at ESL. The University of, uh, of West of England in Bristol, uh, that's where I did my, my degree uh, in the early days um, and starting out. Uh, and there I studied uh, international business with uh, a business degree, and this was 97 to 2001, so I'm showing my age a little bit there. Um, and there I studied with languages, German uh, and French, and uh, that was a four-year degree with a, a placement year in, in Germany, uh, which I found hugely uh, rewarding, um, not just because I've got to travel around lots, but also to, uh, to, to really um, understand and study in Germany and work in Germany uh, and find my own internship, which was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, so after, after four years of, of, of doing that, uh, of studying and, and passing my degree, thank God, I, um, I uh, started my career and, and work. And that was, um, that was a very humble beginnings. But I've been with one and a half years now at ESL. So my role uh, as Director of Global Brand Partnerships at ESL is, um, like I said, uh, said a minute ago, I, I engage brands um, directly um, to, to see what their appetite is in this, this world of esports and gaming. And some of them might already be in it. Of course, it's you know, engaging and approaching brands or their agencies to, to come on board as a potential partner of ESL uh, and work with us in, in the various different tiers or guises when it comes to grassroots levels of, of, of where our players are starting to become those heroes of tomorrow, so those zero to hero stories, and uh, where, where we're creating this world where you know, everybody can be somebody, which hopefully you've all heard of at some point when it comes to what ESL is all about and, and working with you know, the, the players of tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we want those, those brands to look at our owned and operated big, you know, big ticket um, tournaments and leagues, uh, ranging from, our, of course, those big sort of World Cup-esque uh, tournaments of ESL One and, and Intel Extreme Masters, which are our flagships, which we love and, and hold dear to our hearts. But then you look at our, our national leagues and tournaments of, of those sorts, of that, that second tier where those guys are, are coming from semi-pro to, to hit the big leagues and be scouted in those those big tournaments uh, like the ESL UK Premiership, which is our, our favourite. And of course, the, the, the Meisterschaft in Germany and, and 15 other countries are, are around to the world where they have those national leagues. So we're helping them to understand that education is a big thing and a big part of what my role is. It's, it's, there's a lot of dominantly brands out there that, yes, have worked as sponsors in these big Rugby World Cups, Football World Cups, and might be in the worlds of tennis and golf, which I've, I've worked in all of those, um, and helping them to understand what esports is. Um, some call it e-gaming. You're like, no, 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 no. It's esports, uh, and spell it correctly. And um, and to understand, you know, what you know, what the, you know, the ecosystem is. People always said to me, you look at your network, look at the contacts. Who do you know who works in that in that world? Of course, that 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 helps, but also look at the world of, of traditional sports and the media and entertainment. Uh, and and trying to find your 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 patch there. Yes, recruiters, for good or for worse, will will help you to to find the right role if you've got the right experience or you've got the right CV. But also, you know, there's the the industry that itself um, doesn't have to start with esports or gaming. I mean, okay, I came from a traditional world and worked in this world, and it I found that, you know, if you've focused on too focused, too channeled on a on a specific area. It's just too much competition and not enough roles for the man, demand, supply and demand. Right. So um, you've got to really have a look at um, the wider spectrum of of what different areas exist in esports and what point could you drop into that and what roles are available that might lead you to the sorts of roles that you do want to get. To. And um, I found I, I made a. I, conscious decision to swap from account management working in agencies and actually okay I want to work in commercial people were telling me for a long time you should try sales you should try sales and I was like mm, I don't know and then making the jump was just seamless and it, I, I loved it and I found my niche so you won't necessarily start in the place that you want to end up is my message on that front and building up that 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 general knowledge of the advertising sponsorship entertainment industry um You'll soon get to see who the movers and shakers are, uh, what agencies work, what brands, you know, what brands are sponsoring what sports, uh, who's coming into esports, 
um, who's working in gaming, you know, all those different properties you've got to have a good working knowledge of. You'd be amazed at how quickly it opens up your thinking when it comes to maybe if I approach that person, that would have the right area of expertise for me. I might have studied geography or done law, but actually this is the biggest area that interests me and that's what I've got to aim for. As I alluded to a minute ago, you don't have to go straight for the role that you, you, you want. It, it, it might be something that's laid down the line that you're working towards. Um, and I think, you know, you'd be very surprised in, in areas that you might start in that you thought in a million years, you never thought you'd end up working in it. And you've got to go and get that experience that you need to then be able to have conversation about the sort of what you do want, what is your passion and what could you bring to that area? And then that's when you're talking to the different people that can start to see that. But it's through hard work and, and putting in the time uh, to work in, a, in an industry that is uh, very competitive, very overprescribed, subscribed. Um, but you go out there and get the right experience and look for the right opportunities and, and put yourself around to look at roles that you, know, you want to be ending up in in, in a few years' time. Um, but go out there and get the experience that you need uh, for that area that you think you will want to end up in.